Hi guys, welcome back. In this section, we'll be having a practical approach at actually implementing the sharded cluster. So the plan is simple. We would be creating three sharded cluster, wherein every shard will be a replica set having three members. One would be the primary and two would be the secondaries. So in this video, we'll actually set up the replica sets. And to do this, we'll start off by creating nine different servers and configuring them into three different replica sets. So let's have a look at the practical. So first what we'll do is we'll create some directories. Now the name of the directory is completely up to you. You can name it as you want, but I would advise to name it in such a way that, you know, you remember it, what exactly is built for what. So I'll say make directory replica one, one, which is the first member of the first replica set. Then one, two, which is the second member of first replica set one, three, which is the third member of the first replica set. Then I'll do it for the first member of second replica set, second member of second replica set, third member of second replica set, then first member of third replica set, second member of third replica set, and third member of third replica set. Now I'll change the permissions. I'll say change mode recursively 777 on replica 11, 12, 13, 21. 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 1, 3, 2, and 3, 3. So the DB path required for all your nine servers is this. So now you can go ahead and start your servers. Remember two points. This has to be under a replica set and it has to be configured as a shard server as well. So I'll say mongod hyphen hyphen DB path is replica one, one port number is 27011 log path is replica 11 slash log log append fork it make it open for connections across let it come under a replica set by name replica set 1 and configure it as a shard server so we have a small spelling mistake so we'll just correct it so this is how your command should look like with one more addition than the replica set configurations, which is the shard server parameter. And we have another error. Okay. So no more spelling mistakes and we are good to go. So first server of our nine servers is ready. Now I'll add two more of the same replica set. So it would be one, two, one, two, and one, two. Then the third one of the same replica set. So it would be one, three, one, three, one, three. Now we'll add three to the next replica set. So I'll change this to replica set two. I'll change this to replica two one port number. I'll make it two seven zero two one. So now we'll start the two series replica two one. Now I'll the second one in here two 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 two. Now I'll the third one here. So it would be two three two three and two three. Now we'll do this for the third set of replica which is replica set three. So now we are in the three series. So it would be three, one, three, one, three, one. Then we'll add two more in the same replica set. So it would be three, two, three, two, and three, two. Confirm that all our nine servers are up and running. So I'll say PS hyphen EF grep mongo. So you can see that you have your servers running on one, 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 two, one, three, two, one, two, 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 three, three, one, and three, two. So one server is not running. So we'll just check. So we are yet to start the third one. So I'll start the third one as well. So it's three, 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 three. Let's check again. So now you have nine servers, three for replica set one, which is one, 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 two, and one, three, three for replica set two, which is two, one, two, 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 three, and three for replica set three, which is three, one, three, two, three, three. Now only the servers are started. You are not yet configured or added members to any of this replica sets. So I'll choose the first from every replica set and consider it as primary. So I'll log into the first one. I'll say Mongo port number 27011. Then I'll say rs.initiate. I'll copy this for further use. And I'll type rs.add. In quotes, I'll enter this. I'll change the IP address to 27012. I'll add another member rs.add. I'll change it to 13. Now we'll check the configurations rs.conf and you can see you have three members in there. Okay. So now you can exit from here. 
log into the next set 27021 repeat the same process so rs dot initiate then rs dot add so this time it would be 22 add one more so it would be 23 you can check the configuration and status so rs dot conf you have three members in there so even this replica set is ready for you so now we can exit log into the next set which is 31 repeat the same process rs dot initiate then rs dot add so this time it would be 32 and 33 check rs dot conf you have three members in here so you can exit from here now and all your three replica sets are properly configured up and running so now you can go ahead